Hi, I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com and I'm here at a new construction job site here in New Hampshire and I want to show you a little structural thing. It's kind of cool. Look at this. So this is a lolly column and it's, it's actually supporting a lot of weight and underneath the concrete floor down here they poured a footer pad and then the concrete floor sets on top of that. So what's happening is, this is what you need to know. See up here? Here, get a little closer. This is the structural header right here that I'm pointing to, but up there is a block of wood that goes and touches the underneath of the subfloor. And the reason that's important is after the house is constructed, up on top of that floor above is going to be a big post that supports a timber frame roofing type system. It's going to be beautiful. But the point is, you can't just have that post up there on the subfloor. It's got to have direct bearing all the way down to the roof below. So you can see how that happens. You've got the wood column above, you've got solid subflooring, you've got that block of wood, this header, and then of course the column is directly under the load. So that's a little structural thing you need to know about when you build a home. You've got to make sure you have those bearing points. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.